Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find untraceable photos like these ones for your catfishing profile. So you can catfish on Discord. This is my third video on catfishing. If you want to see the other two on tips to become the best catfish on Discord that I made two weeks ago, and then how to sound like a girl on Discord using an AI voice changer, go check out those videos on the screen right now. Now, if you join my Discord server and go to catfishing tips, you'll see there is a Google Drive link with a whole bunch of photos that are categorized with a whole bunch of different girls that you can use to help catfish with a whole bunch of other tips to help you out. Now, if you want to look for and use your own images through Pinterest or Instagram, here are a couple tips on how you can do that and make the images impossible to reverse. Okay, so for example, let's say we're going to go to this one. You can see you can click view image. Now, this is very important because this is the image right here. And if you see up here, this is where it came from. Now, one way to prevent images from being reversed is if you load up the snipping tool. Now, what we're going to do here is click new. I don't know how this shows on my recording, but what you're going to do is you're going to want to crop out the image like that. And then you're going to want to click save as. Now, I like to name it something similar between image 3391 or whatever numbers you want to put to make it seem as if it's the original image. Click enter. Now you have that on your computer. If you go to tiny eye reverse image search, click upload click on the image, and then you'll see it came up with zero matches. Now, there is also one other way to reverse image search, and that is through Google. Google has a very, very smart, powerful AI, so it's very difficult to trick it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that same image. We're going to drag it right here and see if it searches up. Ah, see, there you go. The exact match right here. Now, if you click on it and look at that, a whole bunch of images. So what are we going to do? Say you wanted to boost your server to level three with 14 server boosts. That will cost you $70 a month. That's why if you head over to highendboosts.selesend.io, my server boosting site, you can get yourself 14 server boosts for three months for $15.99 delivered to your server instantly after purchase. If you wanted to do that with Discord, it would have costed $207. You're saving $191. So what are you waiting for? One, you can continue looking through Pinterest for images and go through the two processes of using Tiny and Google Lens to reverse image search. That's really your choice. But we're going to do something that I personally believe works the best. And that is still using Pinterest, but finding images that have pop-ups down here that say Instagram. Now, if you see this one, it actually goes to the website We Heart It. It's where you can create dynamic edits, which that is not what we want. Now, this might take a couple minutes to do, but you can see I found one. And once I click on it, you can see it takes me to her Instagram. Now, since this girl that I found is private, I'm going to quickly try to find another one. Wow, okay, yeah, first time. Okay, so there's this girl right here. I have no clue who she is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot this right here. Click Save As and name it Image9921. And then go to Tiny Eye, paste it here. You can see zero matches. Perfect. Paste the image. You can see no results for this image. And there you go. This image is completely unsearchable. So now that we have one image, if we go back to our page, click on this, grab the snipping tool, snip it, make sure you don't capture the little arrow here because that indicates that it's not your image and it was posted somewhere else. 3311, go back to Tiny Eye, upload the image. You can see zero matches. Go back to Google, upload the image, and you can see, wait a minute, this picture was actually shown somewhere. So maybe not this photo, but you get the gist. You can also check out to see if they have saved stories that if you wanted to, you can screenshot and do the same thing with. For example, this one right here. If we pause that, pull out the snipping tool, we can keep the song in the bottom. People post stuff like that a lot. Name it, image, whatever numbers. Click enter. You can see zero matches. Go back to Google. Paste it. And you can see zero results for this image. Now, the moral of the story when looking for images, reverse image search using two platforms, TinyEye and Google Lens. Like I said, Google Lens is a little bit more superior, so they work harder to try to find your images. And once you find a couple of photos that pass TinyEye and Google Lens, you're pretty much in the clear. Now, let's try this one more time with a random photo here. Who is this? Okay, uh, let's say this. Now, in my opinion, this photo looks like it could have easily been posted on Pinterest already. So I don't have that high hopes for this one to pass, but we'll see anyways. 
zero matches using tiny eye and no images surprisingly through google it's actually pinpointing this necklace right here so let's actually increase it to see if any photos of her will pop up and there you go try searching for a larger area results for people are limited so there you go right then and there you can see i just randomly found another one and this girl has a lot of different photos meaning you'll probably be able to grab a couple photos now this user does have 10,000 followers and a TikTok, so this one might be a bit risky, but you can even save them if you can crop out the TikTok logos. So there's a lot of different choices and options for you to do. Just make sure to double check your photos and make sure that each and every one of them can't be reversed. You can see it's very doable as we found a couple with this girl and this girl right here. So as long as you put in the effort, you'll be able to find as many images as possible. And then all you have to do is find a Discord selfies channel, post it in there, and then you'll be good.